For the past couple hours, I've been thinking about how to recognize uh, taps for my uh, Flickr application. So this is, uh, you know, if you looked at my previous videos, this is my Flickr app here. And right now, uh, you know, nothing happens when you tap on it, you know, these photos. I wanted to, uh, you know, bring up a bigger version of it, but the first thing I had to do was recognize the taps. Now that's not as uh, easy as it sounds because these are um, UI um, views, actually UI image views uh, embedded in views, each one of these. So in each row, is, uh, this is actually a table view. So if I wanted to um, figure out which user, uh, which, which photo the user tapped on, I would have to actually you know, get the coordinates in the touches event and then figure out, you know, calculate out which image this belongs to. And that, that's actually a lot of work to do, believe it or not, because, you know, I have to filter out, like, is this a tap or a double tap or, you know, what did they do? And, you know, it's actually not as easy as it sounds if you actually have to process the raw touch events. Uh, furthermore, you know, if you have a iPhone or an, or an uh, iPod Touch, you know the Photos app, like what I'm bringing up here, you can uh, tap a photo, it opens, you can double tap, it zooms in, you know, double tap again, it zooms out, uh, you know, in the iPad, you can even like rotate it like that, you know, you know, if you pinch and, you know, if you pinch in and out, that zooms, if you rotate your fingers, that rotates the picture around. So that's actually uh, really hard to do in code. I mean, it, it would take you know, several hundreds of lines of code to do all this. So obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna go through all that. I mean, that's just more work than I want to do. Um, so what can I do? Because you know, going back, I still need to find out, you know, the user taps on one of the photos, I still need to be able to bring it up. So what I can do is uh, Apple has something called uh, UI gestures, where you ins instantiate a uh, gesture object, attach it to your view, and then uh, when that happens, you get a callback, you know, target action. So uh, this way, you don't have to write any code. You know, Apple figures out like what's a tap, you know, what's a what's a pinch, you know, what's a rotate. So uh, yeah, because actually doing all that code yourself would actually really be a nightmare, to be honest. So I'll just give it a little example. You know, in my project here, you uh, if I bring up Xcode here, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. What you do is you instantiate a, uh, a gesture object, like right here I'm doing a uh, UI tap gesture rec recognizer. And then, you know, you instantiate it, you alloc init it, you know, with, you know, it uses target action. So the target is yourself and the action is your, uh, your selector here. And so this tap recognizer is right here. Um, so, Basically, I create a tap uh, rec uh, gesture recognizer. In this case, a tap. I add it to myself using the add gesture recognizer. I release the object, and basically, I'm done. Uh, I can then, when uh, a tap happens on that object, which is this is my image view here, uh, I'll get a callback, you know, uh, with this tap recognizer, and then I can just go on and do whatever I want to do here. So, uh, you know, to prove this works, you know, let's, let's run it. I'm just gonna, you know, build and run my app in the simulator. And right now I'm just printing in the debug window uh, every time a, a tap happens. So if we go to our little simulator here and uh, you know, zoom in so you can see here. You can see whenever I tap, uh, it's the ID, the number right here of the photo. 
so I can, uh, which I'm just printing it out right now, but you know, later I'm going to you know, push another image view onto the stack and then uh, you know, load up a bigger version of it. But anyway, this is what I just wanted to show you quickly, like how you can uh, you know, recognize gestures like pinch and zoom and double tap and pan and you know, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of these. You can just go look in uh, the documentation uh, that you can just just and they all follow the same pattern. You just create a new one, then add it to your to the view that you want to recognize it, and then when that gesture happens, you get a callback, and then you can go do whatever you want to do. So uh, that's really uh, that's really it.